In this video, I'm going to show you how to do this assignment. I'll show you how to create this drawing using Autodesk Inventor. And then once you've created it, you're going to export it to PDF and submit your PDF to this assignment. Start up by going to your desktop and finding this icon, Autodesk Inventor Professional. Right mouse button and select Open. If it's not on your desktop, you may find it on your taskbar. I'm going to create a new part. There are several ways of doing that. You could go to your file menu and select new part. Or you can go to your file menu, select new. It'll open up a window and select standard IPT. Double click on that. And a third way of doing it, which is a little quicker, is this small icon here. There's a little pull down menu. And select New Part. Let's start out by creating a sketch. And I'm going to select this plane here. It says XY plane. I'm going to select that. And you create a rectangle. I'm going to point to the origin and select the origin. Stretch it out. I'm going to type in the number 2 and then tab 1, tab, and then enter. I'm going to select my line tool. And I'm going to draw a line starting at the midpoint of this line. When I'm at the midpoint, there'll be a green dot. Select that point and go up. Type in, go straight up and enter 1, tab, 90 degrees. In this case, 90 degrees is already shown. And select Enter. Type escape to get out of the command. Select your line tool again and draw from this corner. You should see a green dot to the end of this line. You should see a green dot from this corner. Make sure there's a green dot up to that corner. And you should see three gold dots. Hit escape to get out of that. And select this line and Select delete to delete the line. Select this line and delete to delete the line. So in order to go to the next step, you need to have a closed loop. And one way to verify that you have a closed loop is to select this command, the offset command, point to one of the lines and drag it out. And you should see a closed loop. There should be no broken lines. Hit escape to exit that command. Select the green check. In your ribbon, select this command, extrude. Enter a distance of two. Select OK. I'm going to change the orientation of the part, highlight this face, right mouse button, and select Look At. Notice that this is my right view. I want this to be my front view. If it's not, I'm going to, I'm going to change it. Come to this menu here, little pull-down menu. It's called the Context menu. Select it and select this command, set Current View as Front. And now if you notice in your view cube, this is your front view. I'm going to change the color of the part. Come up to your view cube and select this corner of the cube. Select this command here, the adjust command. I'm going to select this front face. 
I did a little paint can. I'm going to select the color blue and select check. Select this same command again. Point to the roof. Get a little paint can. Change the color to yellow. Check OK. Do the command one more time. Point to this face. Get a small paint can. Choose the color red. Check. And orbit the part around. Select this command one more time. Select this face. Get a paint can. Change the color to green. And select the green check. So your part should look like that with the blue wall facing forward. I'm going to create a new drawing. Come to this icon, the little pull down menu, new drawing. To create a base view. And let's change the scale of the view to 2 to 1. And position your cursor over the view, and you can drag it. Place it about here. If I move my cursor to the right, you notice I'm going to create another view, and that's my side view. If I put my cursor above this first view and select, I'll get a top view. And if I position my cursor over here, I'll get an ISO view. Select OK. Now Inventor's giving me a warning because I haven't saved my part. I'm going to call it ID 0.2 Inventor Essentials 2 and select Save. Now if you want to move any of your views, you can hover over the part. You'll get a little dotted red line and you could move your view. If you want to move a view once again, hover over the part and you'll get a, a small red line, dotted line, and you could reposition it. Let me go to annotate and to this text tool. I'm going to position my cursor right about here. And I'm going to all caps type in Front view. I'm going to highlight the text and I'm going to make it a little bit bigger. I'm going to go make it 6.1 millimeters. Select OK and hit Escape twice to get out of that. And once I do, I could uh, select the text and move it around and place it right there in front of my front view. I'm going to right mouse button over the text and select copy. And I'm going to paste one here and another one here and another one here. And right mouse button cancel. I'm going to hover over this text and I could reposition it. I'm going to double click on it and type in top. That's my top view. Select OK. Hover over this text. Edit it. Type in side. That's my side view. Let's select this text. And type in isometric. Select OK. I want to change the title of my drawing. Come up here to this icon. It's called Eye Properties. If it's not visible, pull down your quick access toolbar and you could turn it on here, turn on your Eye Properties. So I'm going to select Eye Properties. Go to Summary and change the title to House. 
and change the author to your name. Select OK. I'm going to go to the File menu. I'm going to Export to PDF. And I'm going to save my file. Save it in your Documents folder. Uh, you can use this pull-down menu and go to your Documents folder and store it there. Save it. And your PDF drawing should look like this. Go to your assignment. Select Submit Assignment. Choose File. And once you've located your file and selected it, choose Submit Assignment to complete your assignment. 